y is equal to this whole quantity here. So what I would do is I would do the substitution method and put that in for y in the second equation. If we do that, we get 3x minus 2 times, instead of y, we're going to put what y equals, that's 1 half x plus 4, and that whole quantity equals negative 16. Now we just have one variable and uh, one equation. We can solve this system. So if we distribute, we get negative x minus 8, bring down the 3x, and now we can solve. So we've got 2x, and if we add 8 to both sides, you can see we have 2x is equal to uh, negative 8. If we divide both sides by 2, you can see that x equals negative 4. Now if we take the negative 4, put it back in for x here or here, we can solve for y. Let's do the top one that's a little bit easier. 1 half times negative 4 is negative 2, plus 4 is equal to 2. So now we know y equals 2. So when you write your final